Welcome back, everybody. This uh, We touched on this story last week. Robert O'Neill is a former Navy SEAL, was part of SEAL Team 6, fired the shot that killed Osama bin Laden. O'Neill tweeted this selfie on a Delta Airlines flight. He wasn't wearing a mask, jokingly calling it a peaceful protest. And for that, he was banned by Delta Airlines. Robert, thank you for being here to the, on the Chris Salcedo Show, and thank you for the service to the country, sir. Hey, Chris, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Good to see you. Well, the pick. What what happened with all this? See, that was uh, there's a lot of checklists you need to approve of in COVID when you book a flight. One of them is about the mask policy, and for some reason, just a little bit of the hypocrisy of how wear your mask until you're eating or drinking. And I just received my Delta issued chips and water, and you know now I can take my mask off. And I was thinking, if if, if I can wear it while I'm drinking and eating, what if I'm drinking and eating the entire flight? So I just snapped a quick selfie, and I I use social media as entertainment. I'm never really serious about it. And, you know, if you, you, you try to make a few joke omelets on social media, you're going to break an egg. This one just didn't go over well. And I, I'm certainly not trying to, like the guy behind me, I didn't notice I had a USMC hat when I posted it. It was not a dig at the Marine Corps. I love the Marine Corps. I love all services, any, any man or woman who raised their right hand. And I was just pointing out that, yeah. okay, it's safe. If it's it's safe, to, you need to wear a mask to protect us all, unless you're having something to eat. And it was snack time on Delta Airlines. I thought it was, you know, kind of a joke, but there are certain things that are more religious than anything to the left, one of them being a mask. You can't joke about a mask, and, and the attacks come. Uh, the New York Post picked it up. The New York Times picked it up. They put pressure on Delta Airlines, and I didn't even know anything happened. I, I, I'd flown, that was my second flight that day. No one had told me anything. I wasn't out of line. And, you know, if I'm walking through the airport and people are more than six feet away, I'll take it off once in a while, and I'll do it to eat and drink. But I didn't know about this until the next day, because I, I had a flight. Uh, from JFK to LAX on Delta One, which is their first class that would have put me in the million miler category. And they just called and for me it was canceled. And I'm like, for, for what? Um, I, I'm pretty sure we still have the first, the fourth, the 14th Amendment in the United States Constitution. And um, I just said, well, it's a peaceful protest. I'm protesting the hypocrisy of wearing a mask when I'm eating as opposed to when I'm not eating. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, first off, Delta Airline, private company, if they want to fly off the handle on their customers, they have every right to do that. That's that's my perspective. Did they, I guess you've already alluded to this, but I just want to be clear. They never, you know, I, I've been, I fly a lot and uh, I've had flight attendants wake me up and say, you need to move your mask up a little higher. It's not covering your nose. And I always comply. And if, if wearing a mask makes people feel more, me feel more comfortable, I'm going to do it. Um, does it work? Does it not work? There's arguments on both sides because everything's politics. But if it makes someone feel uh, better, I'll wear it. And I wear it into restaurants. Yeah. Even if I can take it off when I sit down. I'll wear it going into delis, into uh, uh, anywhere that they need you to, I will. It just strikes me as odd that as soon as you sit down, uh, time out, we're all good. Take your mask off, laugh on people, cough your bear up on people, whatever. But I'm, I, you know. Again, <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not being... Well, Robert, Robert. Uh, uh, now, look, uh, look, uh, the irony is not lost on a lot of us that here you are, a guy who took out the mastermind of 9-11, uh, who flew airplanes into the Twin Towers in New York City on 9-11. You took him out, and, and the very people who own some of those planes are now banning you for life. What has been the reaction from the American people about Delta flying off the handle like this? Well, I can't, if, if the reaction is reading your uh, people that follow you or don't follow you, but but... Uh, they comment on your Twitter feed. It's going to, you know, I could talk about the snowfall in Montana, and within two comments, people are arguing about Trump. So you're going to get hate everywhere. Um, in person, it's been really good. And a lot of people, I mean, people that are real and not bots, they, you know, it's the same way. Like, we're talking, we're reasonable. Delta has the rules. I That's fine. But it's not like I, I blew the rules off. And some of these media outlets lied and said I was kicked off the plane. I was never kicked off the plane. No one ever said anything to me. Wow. And I was just, I was joking. And, you know, again, bad joke. USMC guy behind me. I wasn't calling him a name, um, and uh, it just it got way way out of hand. I, you know, I was getting uh, uh, comments from people all, from Scandinavia out to Hong Kong down to Australia, and there it's you know just wow. with a lot, a lot of people could take a joke, but but God forbid you try it on Twitter, man. That is a serious place, and that's where regulations are. Written. Dude, hey yeah. hey, you you said it. The American left 
you know, you, you step outside of their norms and they have no sense of humor whatsoever. Robert O'Neill, you have my a debt that, that I and this country can never repay. Thank you, sir, for the service to the country. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.